In November of 2021, Luke and I drove the inland route from the Red Sea to a proposed Mara. At the bottom of the hill, 26 miles from the sea, was a strategic valley that is known today as El Shirah. There are four large wadis that converge, and from above, you can see the important junction of Highway 394 and 55. We didn't spend much time there, but essentially found the lowest point beside a tree and took a photo. After driving another seven miles Mara, down the road the and looking on both sides of the wadis. highway, we realized that indeed the spot Evidence we found at Al Sharaf was far superior. Yes. I then got home and yes. made a YouTube video entitled God's Marathon, the Biblical Mara Found, a Cure for Bitterness. You have to understand that when I painstakingly plotted the mileage from the sea to Mara on Google Earth and found that the beach to tree was exactly 26.2 miles, a light bulb went off in my head. <clears throat> so fast forward today, we now have drone footage thanks to Andrew Jones. He kindly flew that doomed drone that recently crashed south of the area and sent aerials of this very big watering hole. And wow, where I was previously somewhat skeptical, I'm now more convinced that this indeed is the right spot. It checks off all the boxes, as they say, like in the Mahoney films. One, it is within a two-day journey of Merriam's Beach, that is, the other side of Nueva. Two, it is large enough to supply a million people quickly along with their herds. Three, it is 66 kilometers north of Al-Bad, commonly believed to be Elam. Thus, the itinerary of numbers 33 and X is easily fit. There's no racing to get here, no need for a long stay in Elam. The requirement to reach the wilderness of sin on day 30 fits. Number four, there are no crazy narrow passages or rocky trails that have to be traversed to get here. Five, it is on the route back from Rephidim. If you're trying to get to the wilderness of Sinai, that vast plain that is in front of Mount Sinai, again, it's on God's planned route, unless you are fooled by the southern route. Split Rock is only 29 kilometers away. Mount Sinai is 40 miles or 66 kilometers, which interestingly is the same distance that it is to Elam. Very strategic. Number five, <clears throat> any water that would collect here would be considered bitter, that is dirty, as in the original definition of bitter. Symbolic dust from the sanctuary floor is amazingly to be found upstream because the wadi that flows here does start at Mount Sinai. Even though the sanctuary, of course, was going to be built some six months later. Furthermore, though not necessary, I suspect that the sandy area behind the flood wall that Andrew captured so well in this photo would probably have a dirty, mineral, salty flavor from evaporation and runoff if sampled. Yuck. Hey guys, salt? Huh? Do you think this is salt now? Yeah, that's okay. So I gotta taste it, so I'm gonna, I'll take the first lick. Take the first lick. It is salt. We just Number six. <clears throat> Trees are seen today in Al Sharaf. Thus, they must have been present during the time of Moses to allow for the miracle described in Exodus 15, verse 25. Then number seven, as stated in my video, this is very reachable. It's only 25 miles. The last seven miles are downhill, giving hope and mercy. Traveling any further without water would be a terrifying experience, and it would feel like torture to both man and beast. So join Andrew's tours. See this splendid candidate for Mara yourself.
Below the Temple Mount in Jerusalem, on a pilgrim's path to God's forgiveness and salvation, is the Pool of Siloam. Likewise, on our walk of life to the heavenly city where we find hardship and bitterness, we stumble upon Mara. Mara gives us hope, and before us is a path to the throne and temple of God. It's a long path. We've already come 25 miles, and there's another 40 to 48 miles to go. After 20 miles, we turn right and head south. Then at 40 miles, we see the place from afar. The last seven miles are almost level. Finally, there before us is the altar of Moses. The 12 pillars of Israel representing the holy city and its inhabitants. Now we can drink from the water that ascends from the mountain of God and place our pillar with a new name.